<clears throat> so good day everyone for today's video we are going to discuss about basics of python okay so you have already learned python during your first year and have probably used um, it in a variety of courses that you have um, taken in your second year and third year so we will just have have um, a quick na walk through on the required uh, constructs that we need uh, in order to build a machine learning applications okay so particularly we are going to use the jupyter the notebook for this okay okay so first we will discuss about the variables and the data types so um python uses five standard data types we have the numbers so for example, here in this um, code cell, we have uh, a variable var num with a value of 1 to 3 and pi uh, with a value of 3.1459. So if we control enter, then this will, uh, the code will uh, be executed. Okay, so the var num is an integer while the pi is a float okay and a uh, string is another data type in python so suppose we have a var string and we assign it with this value hello world and uh, similarly we have the var text which uh, is enclosed on the other hand with a single na code so uh, we print this one, and if you wanted to take the or determine the length of a certain string, we just use the len na keyword or len na function. So if we control enter, then it will just print um, hello world, the value of var string, as well as the length of the var string, which is 12. And list is another data type in python so um, a list is something that can um, that can contain related values okay so what's fun in lists in python is it can contain variables of different na, data types so as you can see here the var list contains um, two elements and um, the first element is a string a b c and the second element is an integer one, two, and th one, two, three. Okay, so if we print the bar list, then it will just print um, the value of uh, the whole in the list. Okay, and in order to determine the length or the number of elements in var list, then we just use again the len the function. Okay, so if we just press enter, control enter, then um, all the printed statements will appear, okay? And um, what about retrieving values in a list? So uh, what you have learned in your previous programming courses is that uh, the elements in a certain in a list or an array may be indexed, okay? So meaning this first element is has an index is in index zero, second element is one. So if we want to access, let's say, ABC, so we just uh, enclose its index inside the um, square in a bracket, okay? Um, preceded by the variable or variable in the name <clears throat> of the list, okay? So var list of zero uh, will retrieve ABC. And if we wanted to print um, the length of the string ABC, which is um, which may be accessed with var list of zero, then it is we just use the length len the keyword, and so it prints three. Okay, because ABC has the three na um, as a uh, three na characters. Okay. So you can think of lists as similar to array lists where the index starts at zero and you can obtain the contents of a list 
by using brackets that contain the index of the element. So you may also append items in the list and remove them as well. So there is also the, the tuples. So in contrast to the list where it uses a square bracket, the tuples, uh, the elements in the tuple it, are enclosed using the par parenthesis. Okay, so yeah, and printing the var tuple is just similar to printing a list and getting the length of the tuple which is three, is just similar to getting the length of the list. And accessing the values of the tuple is also similar to accessing the value, uh, accessing a certain value from a list, okay? So which is using indexing, okay? But it may seem that there are no difference between tuples and lists other than tuples using parentheses while lists using brackets. But actually, there are minor differences. So for one thing, tuples are fixed structures that do not have a luxury of lists to append or remove elements. Generally, lists have a lot of other functions that we oppose to avoid to using tuples. So you can try to type var list and in one line as well as var tuple and um, press tab after the period in order to view possible na functions. But my tab na, um, in my keyboard is not working, so I cannot show this to you. Anyway, um, as I have mentioned earlier, in contrast to tuple, um, in contrast to tuple that are fixed na structures, the list can uh, has a, allows you to append or remove elements. So for instance, here, we have the var list that was uh, created earlier. And if we use um, dot append, then the element, then um, the list is updated. So earlier, the var list only contains A, B, C, and one, two, three. Now we have an added or appended another string, hello. And if we print the length of the var list, it's not, it is now updated to three. However, um, the tuples actually use less space in the memory as opposed to lists, resulting in faster processing. So one thing to take note is that one would actually use tuples when the size of the contents are static as opposed to lists where one can use it to continuously modify the size and the elements. So uh, if you can see here, um, if you check the size of um, the list and the tuple in the memory using the size of the operator, we can see that um, the list, which is this one contains uh, or, or uses, consumes more, um, space as compared to the space that is consumed by the tuple, okay? And we can also have uh, the dictionaries. So um, for instance, we have um, a variable, which is three. And if we wanted to create a dictionary, so we have um, a keyword as well, a key as, as well as its value. Okay, so if you wanted to print the var deck, then it will just print the dictionary that was created. So the key and the value here are being separated by comma and are enclosed by brackets. Okay, so you can also declare contents of uh, dictionaries individually. So, so for instance, this is how we initialize a dictionary using um, an, uh, an empty in a bracket, okay? And um, this is how we create the first na, um, first na key value pair. So the name of the dictionary and enclosed by the square in a bracket is the name of the key and assigning it with the value, okay? 
So this is the first key value pair, the second a key value pair, and the third a key value pair. Okay, so in here we are just printing the value of uh, the third na key. Okay, so let's try to print Vardic. Okay, so as you can see here, you are printing Oops, we have not run this one for three. Okay, sorry, now three. Okay, so if you have in experience in using JavaScript notation or JSON, then Python's implementation of uh, dictionaries are quite similar to that. So you may reference an element by inserting the label of the key pair. 